Hey sports fans, here we are, Paul Hog Island Boat Works. We're going to talk about plastic welding, taking plastic stick and putting it in our Hog Island boats to do repairs. Before I plastic weld, I'll have a soldering iron of some shape or size. I like to preheat my plastic. When I preheat now, I use a blowtorch. I'll light the torch and I'll preheat till it just gets gooey like a little marshmallow. Something to clean my little welder a wire brush. All right, this is what it's going to look like preheating the plastic. I make it simple, I call it, you know, uh, getting it gooey like a marshmallow. You don't want to burn it, it'll carbonize, you just want to get it gooey so you're able to bond it. And I'm just going to cook it really quick. There's no rewards for going slow, I don't think, here, you just don't want to burn it. If it catches fire, you blow it out. You'll see it starting to get slick and oily on the top. It's melting. I like where it is now. See, now it folds over like a marshmallow. I don't want to eat it. Backfill with it. I'm gonna pull off that little hot end right into my little hole. And there it is, I'm smearing it in. Once I get it to that point, I'll use something flat. This could be a, a, a paint scraper, something flat like this. I'll hold it. And I'm really getting there to bond. Come back, clean my tip for a second. Here I am coming back on it. Press her one more time. Now we'll let her cool just a little bit. I could sand that little edge out right there that's a little bit discolored. That's where the marshmallow cooked just a little much. And I'm being really careful now to feather in the edges. If I feather in the edges right here on the outside, when the plastic's contracting and expanding, it'll do it together. If you don't feather in these edges on the outside right there, then the plastic will lift. When we're welding, we make stick out of the same resin or very similar, same polymers, and we preheat them and we're bringing them just like we are in the oven to a liquid state and we're bringing them back down here. That's how polyethylene bonds. It gets hot to a certain degree, say 450, 500 degrees, and then it's able to bond to make a permanent bond. It's been our saving grace for the last 21 years with our boats. You can hit them, you can put holes in them, things can happen to them, and ultimately you can repair them to some degree.